Having moving text in your videos increases the production value of your work. It can also be useful to point to something specific that you would like your audience to pay attention to. I think you get my point. Let me show you how you can do this utilizing KineMaster. The same principle applies to any editing software. Without any further ado, let's go on. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're gonna open KineMaster and you're gonna tap on the plus button. With the new KineMaster update, now you have a more diverse uh, aspect ratio to choose from. So you have to make sure that you select the correct aspect ratio. If this video is for YouTube, you're gonna select 16 by nine. And it's worth mentioning that if you use any of this ratio, it could happen that you have some KineMaster features that will not work. So go to your library and select the part of your video that you want to add the moving text to. Then tap OK. Now you're going to tap the play button and you're going to listen to how many words you have in the sentence that you want to highlight. Once you know what that number is, you're going to tap on layer. Then you're going to tap on text and you're going to type only the first words of that sentence. Now you are going to mark the part of your video where you want your moving text to end. Tap on play and cut your moving text at that specific point. Highlight your text, tap the scissors button, tap trim to the right of playhead, then tap OK. Now you're going to make your text bigger and you're going to reposition it. Then you are going to tap on fonts and you are going to select whatever style you prefer. And if you go to the KineMaster Asset Store, you are, you are going to have a more bigger selection to choose from. For this demonstration, I will use this one. And next, you are going to add shadows and outline. your timeline completely. Then you're gonna highlight your first text, tap on the scissors button, and move your text to the left until the trim to the left of playhead button lights up. Do not cut it. You are just using this part as a reference point. So tap on the next text and trim that one to the left. Move your timeline to the left one more time until the trim to the left of playhead button lights up again. Then you're gonna tap on the next text, then trim it to the left. And you're gonna repeat the same steps for the rest of your texts.
Now, tap on one of these cards if you want to learn how to create end cards or if you want to learn how to speed ramp your videos. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't, activate the notification bell, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I will see you next time on the water.